Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Clement and this is how to lay vinyl over top of plywood. Now one of the biggest problems with trying to lay vinyl on plywood is the dust factor. Your vinyl is self-adhesive so when you try to lay it on your plywood, it collects all that dust underneath and doesn't allow the adhesive to work on your plywood. For this job, you will need a straight line. I'm going to use my level as a straight line. You will also need a tape measure, pencil, and a razor blade to make any cuts as needed. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your plywood is as clean as possible. Make sure that there isn't any dust on it or any dirt because that's going to keep your tile from sticking to it. So you want to make sure that it's as clean as possible even if you have to put down a primer on top of it to make sure that you seal all that dust. After your floor is clean, you're going to take your tape measure and your pencil and find the exact center of your room so that way when we lay our tiles down everything will be running nice and straight and when you get to the wall you won't be losing tiles into the wall that means that you might be at the middle of the wall here with a, about a six inch tile and go down to about a two inch tile we don't want that so we want to run it as straight as possible so we'll measure over and put a mark in the perfect center of the room and we're going to put a couple of these down through the room to make sure that we're running straight Then we'll go ahead and measure the other direction, doing the same thing. After you have your lines marked, go ahead and grab your straight line, put it over top of two of the lines, and go ahead and make a straight line between those two. Now the first tile is one of the most important tiles because that's going to set the pace for the rest of your room. So we're going to take our tile, Peel the backing off the tile and you want to make sure that you don't do this until you're ready to go ahead and stick it into place. So after your tile is peeled, you're going to set it down and put the corner of it right in your cross. And you want to see the line just a little bit on both sides of the tile. After you have it put into place, take your hand and with some force push it down allowing the glue to stick to your plywood. After that, we're going to go to the side of our tile, making sure that our seams here are nice and straight and making sure that we're continually running on that cross. Then we'll push it down into place, making sure we get a nice, good seal. You can kind of squeeze the tiles together to make sure that that crack is real tight because you don't want any water getting in there. Then we're going to come up with our next tile and make sure that our line's still running straight here. You always want to match up those corners. Pull it back towards the other tile and then push it into place. On some brands of tile that you buy, they'll have an arrow pointing in a certain direction. If they do, you want to point all your arrows the same direction because they have staggered the pattern for you. So you want to make sure that all your arrows are going the same direction. You'll come up here. Make sure that this seam looks good. Make sure you're in the corner here. and Make sure your seam looks good across here. If everything looks good, go ahead and push it down into place. You want to make sure that you don't wash your tile for a couple days because the water could seep down in there and keep the glue from connecting to your plywood. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project.